Hello. Thank you for being here today. We appreciate it. You look eye stuff. Hi! You're watching the Christiana321. I am the Christiana. And I'm the John. And today we've talked about on my channel and on his channel the possibility of doing a podcast together. I think it would be fun. But we can't figure out what we want it to be about. So what we're going to do today is use a random word generator to help us come up with topics. Because all of the lists of the top 20 podcast ideas are like, talk about something you like. Talk about local news. And it's all the same, and it's all kind of boring and not very helpful. So I'm thinking these might be less helpful. I'm okay with less helpful. So we've got a random word generator. And it's coming up with words that I've never heard of. I can't even, what is that word? So first word is quangocracy. A quasi-autonomous non-government, no, rule of quasi-autonomous non-governmental organizations. Yeah. So I think that means like, what if the robots took over? Cause, or like, if we just used AI for our government? Okay, that's, that's a thing. So the podcast would be, you know, hypotheticals about if we used AI in non-conventional ways, what would happen? Would I, get, I got nothing here. <laughs> Alexa and Siri would rule us all. Um, we would end up with so many Amazon products that we didn't need mailed to us automatically. And yeah, that, that's about it. I mean, I feel like there are enough movies and TV shows that explain why having robots in charge of everything is not a great idea. Like, isn't that what Robocop was about? Yeah, and there was another movie where they were in a mall and like toasters were like assaulting them or something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what that was, but or, it happened. Like, if, I mean the decom smart house, nothing else. Terrifying. Although on Superstore, when Gertrude? Whatever the old lady's name is, when she died, they used her hologram to greet customers, and that was kind of nice. I like that. Holograms can be fun. Yeah, maybe we should do holograms instead of AI. <laughs> so, this is what would be what the podcast is about. Maybe we are just reviewing movies and TV shows and stuff where quasi-autonomous non-governmental organizations rule us all. Alright, next word. Russophobia. The fear of Russia or Russians. Alright, we're going to the Ukraine. <laughs> I, we might have some assassins after us if we make a podcast all about that, I think. Especially if it's 80s movies. <laughs> I mean, maybe what we're learning is we should just be reviewing movies. Eremic. Of or belonging to the deserts. I prefer desserts. That's what I was thinking. We could definitely talk about desserts for a long mm -hmm. time. What if we took the entire Sahara Desert and made the Sahara Desert? It's just a giant, like, graham cracker crumble. We'll just put the world's largest cheesecake on top of it. I prefer my cheesecakes cold, and the Sahara is usually pretty warm. Yeah, and I don't eat the crust of a cheesecake anyways. The cheesecake is the reason to eat it, not the... The crust is like the vegetable of the cheesecake. Hmm. So, we're not going to do a podcast about desserts in the desert. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that would work. <laughs> Ubication. Condition of being in a certain location. Like the desert. <laughs> yeah, like the desert. Yeah, there are a lot of conditions you can have in being in the desert. Like a nice tan or burn, depending on which one of us is there. Death. Death, yes, there is that. Zoography. The painting or description of animals. I always thought zoography, or I'm thinking of zoology. Zoology. Zoology? It's not zoology? No, it's zoology, because if it was zoology, it would have to have three O's. I'd be okay with that. Okay, but that's not how it's spelled, so. Maybe we should make it spelled that way. You know, let me talk to Elliot Morgan. If you know, you know. 
I don't know. You don't know. It's okay. We discussed earlier how we don't follow any of the same YouTubers. Like, some people would know what this sweatshirt is from. I know what it's from because you've told me. <laughs> Pelvimeter. The instrument of measuring the, for measuring the pelvis. This is not that kind of channel. No. Um, but if we were making it into a podcast, it would expand, I think, beyond the pelvis, and so it could just be, like, weird medical instruments. Why don't they just use a ruler to measure the pelvis, though? Why do they need a weird pelvimeter? Well, that's what the, the podcast would be about. So we would do a deep dive into why these different things exist, and why is there one specifically for the pelvis? Mm -hmm. Like, I know that they do measurements using um, x-rays and... Uh, the thingy. The thingy? Sonograms. MRIs? MRIs. Like, there's a lot of different ways that they measure stuff inside the body that apply to any part of the body. Or, like, you know, any of the bones or any of the muscles or, like, whatever. So what makes the pelvis special? Why does it need its own measurement? Mm -hmm. We could buy these or rent them and test them out, too. I can get the leeches. You can hold still. Um, have you ever, you know, looked into the cost of medical devices in Leeches America? are not that expensive. Okay. I don't know that I count a leech as a medical device. At one point they did. Device? Devices. You'd use multiple. Repunnant. Number consisting of two or more identical integers. That's math, isn't it? Yes, it is math. I'm Good out. job. <laughs> I quit. Math is difficult to talk about in podcast form, especially repugnant numbers. Um, it would need to expand way beyond that. I don't really, I don't think that would make a good podcast. Economacy. Position of controller or ecclesiastical affairs. I know some of those words. How about we make it a channel or a podcast about made up big words that nobody understands <laughs> and that can be the first one yeah so the podcast would be more about like the entomology of the word yeah that's another one wormwood something bitter galling or grievous coffee's very bitter yeah but i mean it could also be metaphorically bitter like i'm still bitter about the girl who got to cut in line at jack and con just because um she was in a wheelchair. <laughs> but so yeah, it could be things that we're bitter about. I'm still bitter that when they took the double cheeseburger off the dollar menu at McDonald's and replaced it with the McDouble, that implied that that extra slice of cheese was worth 10 cents, but the difference between a cheeseburger and a hamburger was 5 cents. Why is cheese different depending on what sandwich it's on? It should be the same price. Well, that's fair. Now they're both significantly over a dollar, and I'm also bitter about that. Yeah, what is up with that? I used to be able to get like my full meal, double uh, fries and a drink for like three bucks and now it's seven or something ridiculous. When I was younger, the only reason I survived was because I could dig through the couch or under a vending machine for some coins and go get an 89 cent five layer burrito. Now it's like 14 bucks or what I really haven't had in a while. <laughs> it's expensive. I spent eight bucks on a quesadilla at Taco Bell the other day. Quesadilla is my go-to meal at Taco Bell, and when they went up in price, I think it was maybe six months ago, it went from being like seven fifty to eight something. I was appalled. I can't go to Taco Bell without spending like twenty four dollars just on myself. So I feel like we we could do a podcast called mm -hmm. Warmwood. Yeah. I'll let you pronounce this one. <laughs> oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, Globaliferous. Bearing globules. 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 Alright, so we get a bunch of globes and we bear them. A small round particle of a substance. A drop. Globules. Okay. So this is something that... Has drops. That uh, has drops. Rain! It's a podcast about rain. About weather. You do one about weather. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it might be kind of boring. We just talk about... The weather in Green Bay today. The the name of the podcast will be Chief Small Talk, and it'll be eight seconds long. Nice day out today. 
Yeah. All right, end of podcast. Quirkial of the nature of queries. Querical. Querical. <laughs> So, I mean, that would be one, like, the kind of stuff that you like to watch, where there's a question, a random question, and then we do a deep dive. I'm okay that. with that. Yeah, and the first one would be the nature of queries, and so we'd have to go into the history of asking questions. Or have queries about nature. She doesn't like my jokes. I think they're funny. Hopefully you think they're funny. <laughs> I like your jerks. Battius, chestnut colored. So like this table. Yeah, we. it's a podcast, an audio form thing about light brown colored things. Mm -hmm. I see that going swimmingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that would work. What else is chestnut colored? Chestnuts. Yeah? I, Christmas is right here in the corner. Mm -hmm. We can roast them over an open fire. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that, that, that one's easy. Um, so we've got a table, got chestnuts, chestnut wood. Mm -hmm. um, chestnut colored paint. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perfect. Yeah. There we go. Kenophobia. Fear of empty spaces. Well, we can do a podcast and tell you how empty the space is and how scared we are. Yeah, we could do a podcast about a bunch of different empty spaces, um, or it could be about a bunch of different phobias. I disagree with the definition of this. I feel like kenophobia would be a fear of people named Ken, mm -hmm. and that one is a lot more realistic than fear of empty spaces. How many Kens do you know? None, because I'm afraid of them. See, whenever the word first popped up, I kind of thought it said keanophobia. And I was thinking it would be a fear of Keanu Reeves. Mm, yeah, that's a valid fear as well. You're afraid of Keanu Reeves? No, it just says valid. I could understand it. He seems lovely. Fusillation. Death by shooting. Well, we live in the United States. There are lots of shootings. There are lots of those. We could just go for a walk with our rifles and find a shooting and no mm, no uh, i don't think that would be a good thing mm. uh, but it could be a true crime podcast about people who died by shooting i think we'd have a lot of episodes we could do yeah i mean well there are a lot of true crime podcasts out there so we would maybe need to uh, find another way of differentiating ourselves so the podcast will be about fusillation and toxiferouses Producing or bearing poison. Another way to murder someone. Yeah, so it's we only cover true crime that's about shootings or poisonings. I think we might be onto something. Seppel, diversion of the calyx of a flower. I mean, you have started gardening. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it could be a whole thing about botany. Um, Look at all these sepal flowers. I think sepal is a verb. Mm. Or sepal. I don't really know. It would be helpful if they put like verb, noun, adverb or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. That wouldn't help me at all. <laughs> Terramorphous. Of abnormal or monstrous form. Well, Halloween is right around the corner. <laughs> it, it is. Or we could just go to Walmart and look at people. That's rude. It's Walmart, though. Still rude. It'd be rude if we went to Target. Do you guys see? Do you guys see what I have to deal with? She's lucky, isn't she? Anyway, but it could be like all the different types of um, monsters in lore. Uh, we research the history of how they came to be, or like, you know, the first time somebody thought of a unicorn and how that transferred throughout. That would make a good insult. They wouldn't even know it. You look really terramorphous today. They wouldn't know that that's an insult, but you're still insulting them. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what crowds you run in. How well they did on their SATs, I think. My crowds never took them. <laughs> oh! Beatlemania. Obsession with the Beatles. I like the Beatles. I enjoy their music. I don't know if that I would qualify as 
uh, being obsessed, but we could look into, or we could look into the obsession of the Beatles. We could discuss what would happen if we all woke up one day after a power outage and the Beatles just never existed. Except one English guy can remember them and he's the only one. So what, would he start his own band playing Beatles music? I don't hmm. think that we woke up in a world where everyone forgot that the movie yesterday was already made though. <laughs> Anaclitic? Dependent on other phenomenon or ability. I feel like I need some more context for yeah. what that means. I think it could be interesting. That's not a very anaclitic definition. No, it is anaclitic because it depends on mm. us knowing like other things for it to make sense. <laughs> I get nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can't this just give us normal words? <laughs> I Lan Lan Lanagerious. Lanagerious. Bearing wool. It's bearing wool. We're going to wear wool sweaters and try to pronounce things. Um, or it's just all about sheep. Say so bear wool. Quillen, Quillen, the arm of the cross guard of a sword handle. We would go into great detail about the history and importance of medieval weaponry. Or we find a crossing guard when school's letting out and give them a sword. I like that idea better. This would just be about their arm, the mm -hmm. arm of this one crossing guard. Watch how their arm swings when they chop the heads off these children who are misbehaving. Mm -hmm. That one might be better in video form. I would agree. I don't think they would chop the heads off the kids. They would be protectors of the children. So they would chop off the heads of uh, drivers who are being unsafe or like... Mm -hmm. I got yelled at by crossing guards a lot when I was a kid because instead of going up to the corner to cross with them, I just ran across the street. I would have had my head chopped off if they were... I forgot what the word was already. If they were that. Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> My, my goal is to be able to put the word up on the screen for the video. <laughs> Have fun with that. So we'll see. You guys know. I don't know. A eternity. A eternity. Eternal existence. Mm -hmm. All I can see is the first two letters are just Elon Musk's son. <laughs> uh, but this would be, this is your favorite kind of movie. That is true. The idea of someone just living forever, like the show Forever, it was a really good show. It was also New Amsterdam, not to be confused with the terrible medical drama that's on now with the same stolen name, uh, Age of Adeline, The Man from Earth. Yeah. I like that concept. So we could, you know, make different podcast episodes. This is going back to reviewing uh, media mm. uh, about the different the different shows and movies and books and then you can read some of the books that I've been suggesting that I think that you would like because it has this concept in it. I'm just glad the show was called Forever and not A Eternity because I probably would have never watched it otherwise. I feel like if we do a podcast with any of these words we're gonna need to find that YouTube channel that pronounces words for you. <laughs> Yalm! A straight bundle of straw used for thatching. Yelm. Y-E-L-M. <laughs> Yelm. I mean, it's a, a fun word mm -hmm. and one that we can pronounce. That's when you find out it's like Yelm or the M is silent <laughs> or something. Yeah, the Y is silent. Yeah. It's just Elm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that podcast would be about though. Yard work. Yard work. I mean, just because your backyard is tall enough that it can be turned into straw doesn't mean everybody can. Fovia. Depression or pit? <laughs> yes, that would be an example of one kind of pit. Mm -hmm. The pit of despair mm -hmm. would also be one. The pit of misery! Dilly dilly! She doesn't watch cable, so she doesn't get that joke, but we know. So, phobia, it looks like by the definition, is probably talking about like geographical depressions, not like being medically depressed. I'd be pretty depressed if I was thrown in the pit of misery. Yeah. Or the pit of despair. Or someone's armpit. Hmm. That's fair. But we could definitely take it the metaphorical route, is what I was thinking. 
But it'd be a pretty depressing podcast, and mm. I don't know that people would want to listen to it. We could get sponsored by all of the different antidepressant medications. Mm. Well. Lutsent. Yellowish. This would go along with our uh, chestnut podcast. Mm -hmm. Yep. On Tuesdays we talk about chestnut colored things. On Wednesdays we talk about yellowish things. Mm -hmm. But only yellowish. If it's fully yellow, like a lemon, not allowed. It's got to be like when you go to the bathroom when you're really hydrated. That's what we're talking about. Sleazy. Slovenly. Slovenly is the definition of sleazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think that you are slovenly? I don't know. But I feel like sleazy is someone who's sleazy but being described by a person with a lisp. Uh, messy and dirty. Slovenly. Especially a person or their appearance being mm. messy or dirty. So not like your house being messy or dirty, but like you as a human, do you feel that like you are slovenly? Mm. I don't think so. Sleazy. I prefer my definition. I feel like sleazy people tend to be uh, slovenly. Yeah. Um, I feel like greasy hair, jet, you know, brushed back. Wan chancy. Wan chancy. Unlucky or uncanny. So the podcast though would be about people who are like events that were pretty unlucky. Like World War One. Yeah, that, I was thinking more like sports mm. things where like you go for the final buzzer shot and you miss. I mean that's kind of how World War One started. I mean yeah, they, they did. We talked for too long so it stopped recording but we're back now. Basically, we aren't going to do a World War I podcast. Man. <laughs> uh, Fine, we'll do World War II. The sequel. We could do um, one that's not based on military history. Alright, no history. Current events. World War III. Anyway. Any of these podcasts sound good to you? Hmm. Not really. I think I need to go back and watch this over because I think I forgot all of the podcasts that we talk about. I forgot all of the words. Even when the word was in front of me, I still forgot it. Next time, we'll do a random word generator that is designed for people on this side of the table who didn't go to college. And then maybe I'll be able to help more. <laughs> But if you would listen to any of these podcasts, let us know down below, which was the one that you thought was most interesting, because uh, we obviously have no idea what to do. Mm. We just know that we like talking to each other and think it would be fun to record it. You may enjoy that aspect, but I, if you like any of these topics, get help. <laughs> I think some of them could be interesting. Like We would have to expand it beyond that specific definition. But some of them could be good. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk about brown things. That'll be the podcast, folks. Brown things. Brown and yellowish, like the banana duck. <laughs> this randomly showed up in the mail. I have no idea where it came from. Told him I wanted it to just be subtly in the background, and it's not to acknowledge it. It was to. You acknowledged it right off the beginning. You said mentioned the duck. I don't remember what it was, but I'm sure you'll rewatch this when you're editing and you'll see it and you'll probably edit it out so it doesn't look like you Yeah, did. I'm pretty sure that whatever I said about the duck was just for you, it wasn't for mm. this, it was like, because we were right. 30 minutes earlier. You have like eye stuff. Did I get it? Yeah. They can't see it anyway. So kind of at a weird angle. Like I angled it so the deck could be in here. And now I'm like more forward than you. <laughs> you leaning back doesn't make me less forward. Talking about the shot and stuff. Alright, it's subtle now. He's hiding in the bushes. <laughs> but also if you have any ideas of what you would like to hear us jabber about, 
I'm gonna... Or if you want to send us some leeches. Don't, don't send us leeches. Please send us leeches. Why do you want leeches? I don't know. I've always wanted a pet. <laughs> hey. Good night. Bye. End of video. No, this is the part where it has the like, click on this video because YouTube thinks that you'll like oh, it. Oh yeah, you should click on that video. And then there'll be one over here that YouTube probably also is suggesting. Yeah, right? Here. Oh no, it'll be like here. Oh, down here? Oh. <laughs> oh, and subscribe. That's over there probably. It's like in the center, usually. Is it? I thought it was... I moved it. I used to have like subscribe mm. and a video, but that, now I've got two videos and subscribe in the center. So right, right here, click that.